process in which many small molecules combine to form a large molecule with high molecular mass. Let's assume these circles are the small molecules which are called monomers and they are going to react to form a large molecule by connecting to each other forming a polymer. For example, when glucose molecules combine to each other, they give you starch. So the glucose as the monomer, it will give you starch as the polymer. Amino acids will react to give proteins. Amino acids as the monomers, protein as the polymer. Ethene molecules, ethene molecules will react to form polyethene. Ethene as the monomer, polythene as the polymer. When polymerization takes place as an addition reaction, we call it addition polymerization. Alkenes and other unsaturated molecules can undergo addition reactions. So when alkenes and other unsaturated molecules become the monomers, then the polymerization process is called addition polymerization. We will see some examples. Here is an ethene molecule. There is a double bond. Let me draw an ethyl molecule in a such a way that it's easier for us to understand polymerization. The carbon-carbon double bond is displayed and the other groups or the atoms have been put above and below the carbon atoms. Now see, one ethyl molecule can break one of these two bonds and combine with the other ethene molecule. Same thing can happen over and over again. That makes these three molecules as in the diagram to combine like this. combine like this. We have to show that this happens continuously and this one also have got electrons from the nearby molecule to form a bond like this. So here are the monomers. These are the ethene monomers and this polymer is called poly Ethene. The polymer's name is written in the format of polymonomer. So the monomer's name is ethene, therefore the polymer's name is polyethene. Even though I have used these arrows to explain you how the bonds form, in your O level, you don't have to show it. It is strictly for your understanding. Now we'll see the other features of this polymer molecule. You can clearly see your polymer molecule has a part which is similar to the monomer. You have two carbon atoms in a thing and you have two carbon atoms here. And this part of the polymer is repeated throughout the polymer. So you call this part the repeat unit. This is called repeat unit. It is essential to identify the repeat unit of the polymer. 
let me explain it again. The repeat unit is similar to the monomer, but no longer it has the double bond and it has the same number of carbon atoms as a monomer in addition polymerization. Here is an easy way to draw the repeat unit and the polymer structure. Here is the ethane molecule. To draw the repeating unit, just draw the molecule again without the double bond and put the continuous bonding for the two carbon atoms instead. So you are done with your repeat unit. Draw the molecule again without the double bond and put the two dashes. So what you can do now, you can combine three of these repeat units in order to get the polymer molecule. Let me do propene as the next example from the beginning. First, you draw the propene molecule by displaying the carbon-carbon double bond. Put the CHD group either on top of this carbon or at the bottom. After this, you can write the monomer again without drawing the double bond. So you can get your propene repeating unit, the repeating unit of polypropene. So don't forget to put these two bonds. After this, we are going to draw three repeat units. You also call this repeating unit in certain textbooks. You can connect three repeat units to complete your polymer with which can be drawn with three repeat units. Let me explain it again. The propene molecule can be drawn again, placing the CH3 on top of the first carbon or the second carbon atom. And after this, the molecule, the structure will be drawn again without the double bond and place the two bonds at, at the two corners instead of the double bonds and you get your repeat unit of polypropane and connect three of these parts to get your polypropane polymer with three repeat units. Now you know how to draw the monomer, the repeat unit and the structure of polymer with three repeat units. You will see how can we write the balance chemical equation for the polymerization. This is ethene, the monomer and this is the repeat unit of polyethene. Assume that we reacted 100 monomers of ethene. We need to get 100 repeat units in the polymer. Similarly, if we have 200 monomer units, then we need to have 200 repeat units. Therefore, we can uh, assume that n number of which means any number of monomer molecules combined, we are going to get any number of repeat units. So uh, this chemical equation for the formation of polyethene. So we will write for the formation of polypropene. Here is the propene molecule. Now I write the propene repeat unit again. and put the extended bonds 
and put the bracket. So we say n number of propane molecules react and n times of the repeat unit will be found. So this represents the balanced chemical equation for the formation of only propane. Now you can take your crash course theory tube and go to this page and complete this table. For example, the first column they are asking the monomer. Here I write ethene. And the repeat unit, you know how to write it? Draw the monomer again without the double bond and place the dashes and the polymer you can write that as a repeating unit into n times and the polymer with three repeat units. For the uses, you can refer to your textbook and also uh, you can go through your notebook and then find out the uses and write. Not only a theme, there are seven boxes given. So you can draw property and the rest of the examples I am going to explain next. Here are the other five examples that you have to do. In your theory tutorial, there will be a page with the table to do all these examples. First one is chloroethene, which is also called vinyl chloride. The other one is butene. Usually, in all level, we call it butene. Fifth one is tetrafluoroethene, styrene, the last one is chloropropene. Complete your worksheet and post your answers in our online classroom for me to correct. Hope you have understood this lesson and now you are willing to finish your work and submit it soon. Thank you.